Game 7. The series is all tied up at three wins apiece. And Yaren has first turn advantage for the end of the series. Mm. And fitting enough, this is the first colony game of the series. Let's see here. A colony and platinum, of course. Peddler, Horde, Inn, Venture, Baron, Farming Village, Warehouse, Hamlet, Haven, Lighthouse. Okay, I'm thinking peddlers are kind of important. Um, Baron plus Hamlet for D plus buys. Warehouse, Hamlet, Farming Village, Inn for lots of non-terminal plays to make the peddler nice and cheap. Um, so I imagine that's important. Also, Venture looks always looks attractive when you can get some Platinums. Um, so that's my strategy, that jumble, jumbled mess of ideas I just spat out. Um, nothing better to do with those estates than discard them for some coin. So I think Baron's the way to go for the opening. Probably Warehouse to line up Baron more frequently. Um, before I go too peddler crazy with Hamlets. He's going for Haven. Haven is also very nice for lining up Barons. Like, oh, I drew Baron with a bunch of coppers. I'll just save it for next turn. And of course it never hurts to save an estate for next turn. So, but I'm sticking with Warehouse. So we'll see how these differing approaches go. Hopefully in my favor, of course. <laughs> Okay, he's going even heavy here. One, two, three, Baron, boom, boom, six. Let's go, Peddler, Hamlet. So not waste time on this. Okay, I'm gonna pick up another warehouse. Probably gold would have been wiser than Peddler, but that Hamlet will lead to more Peddlers, right? Um, I will have six or seven in two dollars. I don't think so. Let's see, Peddler's going to cost four, and that can't get two anyway. I'm just going to, whatever, I'm going to not worry about it. Did I already grab a second warehouse? I did. And what I guess. Okay, now I actually need to be doing smarter things like buying some big treasure. But I think I already have a decent framework for picking up some treasure plus a peddler. I sure hope I do. I'd love to advance to the next round. <laughs> another haven. Now he goes for the warehouse. Okay, okay. Um, Peddler, warehouse, hamlet. So, Baron will be four, so Peddlers will be free. There you have action by... So I can get a gold and a pair of Peddlers. Sweet. That's what I like to see. Uh, he vaults up to a uh, platinum. Vault here, of course, having nothing to do with the card named Vault. Anyway, four, one by Farming Village. The chance to discard green from the top of the deck sounds appealing, but. That was probably wasted. Or not. I'm gonna go with it wasn't wasted because that clearly worked out, right? <laughs> Another gold and pepper? Yes. Okay, so 
I have a couple golds. He's got a platinum. I have some peddlers. He's got some havens and barons. And he's got another platinum. This is making me nervous. Um, let's stop with the warehouse. But I can move a gold peddler. Okay, now I should be able to pick up some platinums, some ventures, some colonies, one would hope. That might be fun to put a pile of peddlers back in my discard. Um, why not? Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> I think platinum's pretty important. So, yes. Platinum is. And I do believe I will want to go green now. With colonies and whatnot, I mean. Wow, oh, he's got a... Uh... Oh, all four of his havens. Building up for one semi-tactician turn. <laughs> um, I already saw my Baron last turn, so I don't need to hold on to an estate for it. No. <laughs> okay, so now he's using Havens to build up some silly tactician nonsense. Buying Baron. I need another platinum. Find peddlers so I can get some colonies is more important to them. Playing the hamlets so I can maybe buy a peddler. Of course, it would have paid off to hold on to the hamlets that time, but that's okay. Come on. I just really hope these peddlers work out for me. Nine. Okay, buys another platinum. I'm glad that he missed colony, of course. One, two, three. Is it time for province or platinum? I feel like I'm moving through my deck enough so that platinum is a lucky choice, I hope. Oh, we bought up a lot of platinums this game. Uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> Can you tell? Hmm. I'm also, again, starting to think about that first turn advantage. And how Yaren is the one with it this game. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm very nervous. So this should be Colony plus Peddler. I can look at that. Twenty-four, twenty-four. 
halfway through the colonies. Ooh, this turn doesn't look so happy. What's he up to? He's just reshuffled last turn. Yes. Uh, I apologize. Hopefully that scrolling isn't too annoying on the video. <laughs> Baron with another estate, of course. Only five. I like that. But he's got, what, two havens for next turn? So, so time to take the lead. Seven. Venture. Find a platinum or gold. That's not. estate equals a pair of silvers plus buy so slightly better than a pair of silvers anyway after turn 16 I'm up by three points hopefully my mass amounts of peddlers are going to pay off for me pay off as well as his mass number of havens lining up barons and estates consistently Okay. Okay. Penultimate colony? Come on, Yaren, buy the penultimate colony. You know you want to. Turn 18. I have a province to his duchy, so I'll three. This is going to be a random time to bring this up. But I've just noticed that the only real cursing game was the tournament one with followers. No real cursing game here because Seahag was on the board, but we both ignored it because of Masquerade. And they say Seahag is one of the best fours. And what does it say about Masquerade that that was the reason it got ignored? <laughs> uh oh. Now we're into province dancing, is that what's happening here? Buy the penultimate colony this time? You know it's a poor choice to buy the penultimate colony. Yay! Oh, jeez. Like it matters. Oh, no! Oh, no! Where's, where's my warehouses, my peddlers, my platina? My platinums. Oh, I see it both plenty of times. No, 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 I think that's going to do it, unless he drew poorly. I would love to hear that he drew very poorly right now. I would just make my day. He just got so many platforms. Thank you. See, six or five. I think I end up four to two. I don't think I get three of them. What I'm trying to say is, I think I'm going to lose here. It's <laughs> Haven tomfoolery again. Man. <laughs> Let's 
So sad. So very sad. Robin's duchy. And now, unless he's just really choking. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Two, six, eleven. Uh, what? No. Oh. Oh, wow. That was... that was lucky. Oh, man. <laughs> Great games. Oh. Uh, he just said, tense to the very end. Yeah, that's for sure. Whoo, wow. Oh, man. That was a... that was a really good series. Oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. So what was that? He just had two coppers. Oh, man. <laughs> 22 turns, and I won it from second player. Cool, cool. Oh wow! Uh, he just told told me uh, both of those coppers he drew at the end were from Havens. His original hand was all green. Wow. <laughs> um, that was right before the reshuffle. Right? Um, Oh, man. Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, his original hand was all green. Um, three platinum turn earlier with no extra buy. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake. Yeah, I didn't draw... draw well enough to, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's tricky, it's like that. Whew. All right, another exciting series win for Michael JB. <laughs> um, wow. All right, yeah, thanks for, uh, if you've watched this far, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment. Tell me what you would have done differently. <laughs> And I'll uh, see you around the forums. <laughs>